outfit check. Goody, goody, goody. You already know what it is. It's me, Unique, aka Miss Love a Little herself. Back at it again with another video. Coming to you lit, coming to you live, coming to you excited, because it's always a vibe. And y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miss Unique Chance, aka Miss Love a Little, the life enthusiast herself, the foodie, the adventurer. And that's what we're about to do. We are about to go on an adventure. Um, but before we get even into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next upload is. And yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Really get into the fit one more time. One more time. Ooh, ooh. Boop, boop, boop. My favorite pants and a little, little kicks. A little, little kicks. Boop, 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 boop. Shoop. <laughs> all right, lovely. So I am up in a rush, but I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Um, work was mad busy. Um, yeah, it's 8.40 and I have to be where we're going and where we're headed for 9 o'clock. So I'm going to zoom. But because I'm in a rush, I have my handy dandy quick meal from Wendy's. I'm gonna enjoy this and then be off on my merry way. I think the next thing you're gonna see is me arriving at our destination and you get to see what I'm getting into. Woo! Is it a food venture or not? Cause I'm already eating. Hmm, good question. Stay tuned. GPS act a damn fool. <laughs> like, do you know where I am? Do you know where I'm going? Which way is it, family? Which way is it, my dear? I get it, because I'm underground, kind of. I'm under the Gardiner Expressway in Toronto. Head uh, southwest where on Lake Drake Shaw Boulevard West toward Bay Street. Shot. Then turn left onto Bay Street. What next? Hey, yeah. Anywho, I had to park up real quick, recenter myself with a beautiful view of the CN Tower to figure out where on earth I was going. All right, my lovelies. I know it's so secretive, but I have arrived to my destination. Okay, I was the last person to arrive. Ah, uh, it's not my fault this time. I know what you're thinking. It's not my fault this time. It is not. But we are going, I'm not even gonna tell you what's gonna be on and popping. It requires me to stay in the car. If the windows go down, they said, wear my mask, so I will do so. I have my handy dandy snack. We good to go. We in this. So pretty. It's gonna get dark. You guys, welcome to the immersive Van Gogh experience ah oh, i'm so excited this is so cool you know i gotta open up my roof oh there's nothing there <laughs> this is it y'all this is art that moves based off of the artworks and body of work of vincent van gogh he was definitely underrated when he was alive but became one of the most famous and influential figures in the history of Western art. I was in French immersion as a kid and took many art classes and Vincent van Gogh definitely came up frequently. Um, I loved, I loved and gravitated to his work because it was so vibrant, colorful. The brush strokes that he used, the subjects that he used in his paintings really spoke to me. Right now, we are looking at one of his most famous paintings, 
and this is called sunflowers a lot of people have tried to recreate this painting they've changed the flower in the vase but all in all this is where it all started he was the blueprint honestly if any of you are frenchy or had french class i'm hoping you know this song look at the sun coming through guys <laughs> this is so cool happening behind me too <laughs> what I love about this they're taking us through the history you could turn on the radio and really understand what he was going through and what he was feeling when he was painting each and every piece of his and I love that this is another famous painting of his and I will insert the reference piece as well so you guys can see Blossom season. Alright, y'all. So it's no secret. I am at the immersive Van Gogh experience. I did the drive through version. There's also a walkthrough version in a plethora of different cities. I'm in my city, Toronto. And you guys know I love art. Although well, it's super dark, you might not be able to see me. But um, you guys know I love art, so I decided to do this. Love some of his paintings. I've tried to recreate them on numerous occasions. Just overall, and um, I've been dying to come here. This has been in the city for a little while. Um, but it gets get, being closed and shut down, closed and, and opened up again. And finally, I made it. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm getting to see as well. Another beauty, like these paint strokes, his clouds, his skies, how he does everything is very true to Vaisal Van Gogh. Very, very true to him, his style of work. Let me see if this is his most famous or if not one of his most famous paintings. I feel like it is. And that is Starry Night. Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh. This is so pretty. I feel literally submerged in like a utopia. It'd be cool if they put it on the roof. Guys, I am hungry. Nothing like beautiful art with a burger. He oh hey boo with the flower in your mouth. This reminds me of Le Petit Prince, but that's not what it is. <laughs> this is definitely it. There's no doubt in my mind. I thought before we saw Starry Night, this is definitely it. This is it. They're building anticipation. They're building. Do you see this thought? Do you see the night? Do you see? Do you see? Can you envision it? How it's all gonna come together? Bear with me. We're gonna get there. Guys, this is the actual reference picture for Starry Night. This is my absolute favorite. It's such a beauty. It's coming together, y'all. The transitions for me.
And there you have it. This is the man himself. He painted himself, Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. This exhibit was about 40 minutes long. And I hope you guys enjoyed all the beautiful sights. I highly recommend you coming and check it out for yourself. Let me take off the mask. All right, y'all, so I made it closer to home. Hope you guys are enjoying the overall experience. But the night is still fairly young, so I decided to not stop at all and treat myself so I came in my downtown area it's not really a downtown area but there's soup shops and dessert places and so i'm going to indulge in something yummy come along with me As always, I got the goods. Ooh. Back to the car I go. Then let's enjoy this food. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. What are you guys doing to get through to treat yourself? Let me know. I've been putting you on to the small things in my city, my town and around me, but what are you guys doing to keep busy? and stay safe, but stay sane at the same time. Let me know. And yeah, see you next video. Wasn't gonna leave you hanging. This is what I got for the dessert. A Liege waffle with chocolate and strawberry. <laughs>